Hey Godzilla vs. Kong fans, my name is Chris. We have here a new little teaser trailer that was released online that has a bunch of new footage of Godzilla vs. Kong. What I'm going to be doing here for you guys is not only showing you that teaser trailer, but breaking it down, dissecting some of that new footage, and I think we've also found a couple of answers lurking online of how we could possibly see Godzilla vs. Kong go down and who the ultimate winner might be. So I'm going to you guys leave me your opinions down below on what you think of this footage right here. Are you still unbelievably hyped for this? It's Valentine's Day. You're lucky I live in Texas where I'm completely snowed in or else I would have been out and about getting my valentine on you Know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's just go ahead and roll the little teaser trailer here We need Kong The world needs him She's the only one he'll communicate with Versus Kong in theaters and streaming exclusively on HBO Max, March 31st, rated PG-13. All right, so breaking it down piece by piece on what we see here, it does not take long for us to get some new footage, and we see Kong right away angry when he's strapped to the ship, being captured by Monarch, only for the little tribe girl here to calm him down and make him feel more at peace. Their relationship from this trailer looks like it's going to be super emotional in some parts, because my boy Kong is getting smacked around. His hairy cheeks might not survive, but as the footage continues on, we get a little more sneak peek into what goes down between Godzilla and Kong at this naval base base like i feel like this is just gonna be the height of the movie or hopefully towards the end when they're fighting the city that's the hype but they just continue to show us more and more scenes of this fight and we get godzilla playing dirty with kong and throwing him overboard under the water you can see godzilla right there struggling for dear life whether i like to admit it or not even though kong got a great punch at godzilla in this fight i think this battle is going to be completely won by godzilla i mean it's his home territory of water right there and i don't think my my boy Kong can swim all that well, but that's okay because equal balance and rights. If Godzilla wins early on, Kong's gonna win towards the end. That's the way it works. But no disrespect to my boy Godzilla right here because we get a nice close-up shot of him using his atomic breath. I am loving the effects of this film. I feel like this is gonna be the most beautiful MonsterVerse movie that we have gotten. Just Godzilla looks absolutely epic trying to shoot out his atomic breath. Also right here getting a lot of good shots at Kong, knocking him to the ground. I'm feeling so bad for hairy cheeks. Even on this next frame, it looks like Kong is down for the count. It looks like my boy got knocked out. Also loving his goatee still looking fresh even though he's knocked out. And right here in front of them, Rebecca Hall's character and Alexander Skarsgård's character watching Kong fall. And that emotional element that I was telling you guys of the little girl just being so damn sad that Kong is down. Signing to him to just be careful. So hopefully he has starting to get up at this point and is ready to go round two. At least that's what it looks like here from these next couple of shots we're seeing how angry kong is still really curious how mecha godzilla is gonna fit into all of this in between the battle are we gonna have two full fights with godzilla versus kong and then mecha godzilla steps in where then they turn their attention to him it's kind of really no secret that he's gonna be showing up in this movie the real question will be is just at what point and how will he be there is he actually godzilla in disguise or is he the sort of last resort for apex some more city shots here getting a view of people within the buildings watching this fight go down that would be the front Front row seat I would love to see Godzilla vs. Kong fight. Instead, I'm going to have to end up watching this damn thing at home. <sighs> Bringing it full circle back to that naval base fight where Kong is jumping on still. Don't understand the physics of how these ships can withstand the weight of these giant monsters, but we're just going to forgive it so we can see them punch each other. Really did dig this teaser trailer that they released with a little bit more footage, but now getting on to what I was telling you guys, that we might have uncovered something going on in the background that could lead us to believe how Godzilla vs. Kong will end and who might be the true victor. Because they are promising us one will fall, whether that'll be the cop-out that Mecha Godzilla is the big monster that falls and that's how the movie will end if they're actually going to be giving us either Godzilla or King Kong falling 
My money's still on Harry Cheeks, and now I found something to kind of further prove that point. We've been knowing that these toy leaks have been extremely accurate to some of the stuff that'll be going down in this Godzilla vs. Kong movie, and some people have found the mother of toy leaks. Before going into this, I just want to say this is all based on the theory, if this is true, because I'm still having a hard time finding where this was exactly said, but it is said that Toho and Legendary Pictures have a contract with Godzilla, where in the contract they put it that Godzilla is not allowed to die in. In the American movies which is one of the reasons that a lot of Godzilla fans are believing that's why Godzilla cannot be beaten in this movie that it'll have to be King Kong because in the Toho agreement it said that Godzilla cannot die but a clause in that contract also says Godzilla can die if he has a son pairing that up with a theory I posted a couple weeks back if baby Godzilla will be introduced into this movie now we have here toy leaks of baby Godzilla if you go to bigbadtoystore.com which is sometimes where I get a lot of my geeky items here not sponsor i'm just being honest about that if you search up godzilla vs kong merchandise like i have been doing and i even noticed they are gonna have an inflatable king kong outfit an inflatable godzilla outfit looks like whoever wins this movie i will buy that outfit and i'll wear it in a video for you guys i'll make that promise hit that like button but aside from that we have here two toys that really caught my attention one that's titled godzilla vs kong movie monster series Godzilla Miniri. I probably said that wrong, but if you go ahead and Google that name, it's the translation of Baby Godzilla. That is the name of Godzilla Jr. And even there, they have another toy named Godzilla Little. Pretty much letting you know, since all these other toy leaks have been correct, with King Kong and his battle axe, Godzilla turning blue in his body, and then Mecha Godzilla obviously showing up in this movie, it would be weird if this is the one made-up toy that is not part of the film. Then again, we've had it before where we've had toys show up, and then they're not part of the movie, but still so far with everything we've seen with Godzilla vs. Kong, all those toys have been coming to fruition. And that lets me know if they are introducing a baby Godzilla, it is just my theory that Godzilla will be the one to fall. And then this new baby Godzilla is what's going to carry on that legacy and become the new king of monsters in the future. Hopefully raised by King Kong, because that would be some awesome Mandalorian type crap right there. But again, that is just the teaser trailer right there. Me breaking it down, bringing up a theory to you guys based on some toy leaks. I want to know your opinions down below. Don't get all mad and angry. Okay, if Godzilla wins, I'll take that i'll put on my clown mask and be like you guys were right we are just still getting awesome monsters fighting each other and we should just be happy about that be sure to like and subscribe follow me on twitter at 3c film review as always i'm chris take care we need Kong. the world needs him she's the only one he'll communicate with Versus Kong in theaters and streaming exclusively on HBO Max, March 31st, rated PG-13.